Hello everyone, today I will show you how to set up your own GT5 server, uh, whether it's a 5M server or RageMP server, I will show several ways, several approaches, it can be home hosted or we will see other options, but before we start, um, I just want to point out why am I doing this video and why do you want to set up your own server. The thing is that there is a general misunderstanding between what a single player and 5M server is. So people usually think that it's much easier or it's better to do things in single player for some reason, but uh, it's a popular misconception because uh, you can spawn everything and use lighting or whatever you want and use menu for example and test your animations with menu or without menu in 5m or your local server it can be also mapping or mlo testing everything is better in your local server uh, so if we're talking about 5m it's basically uh, the usual gta but better and quicker um, and you have more mods on it um, when we talk about Rage MP, well, yes, it's it's quite worse, but uh, it, it's because it's basically a single player. Uh, so, before we start, I want to quickly showcase our 5M shop. If you're a server owner or planning to open your own server, you can check out our latest mods, like latest pet, or uh, check our pets in general. We have MLOs here as well. Uh, there will be weapons later on. Uh, so, yeah, check this out if you want. Uh, so let's dive into the topic of the video. Let's start with two ways of setting up your own 5M server. So the first way would be using uh, the official 5M partner, which is Zap Hosting. Uh, if you want to rent your own server, if you're planning to rent it for people, you want players on your server, right? Or maybe just your friends, you and your own co company of friends. Or if you want to run your custom, custom local server, you can do that here. Uh, ping check, stuff like that. Again, it's uh, official 5M partner. I'm in Russia, so yeah, <laughs> don't be surprised. Uh, you, you have dynamical like uh, money calculator here. Of course, it's not free. You can upgrade it if you have uh, uh, a lot of players on or just a lot of mods. So yes, the link is going to be in, in the description. Uh, and you can also set up on it on Linux. You don't have to use like uh, Windows, right? Or just uh, you can set up your Linux server without 5M and uh, basically just rent a simple server, right? If you don't want just a 5M. Um, and uh, yeah, it was the first way. Of course, it's uh, it worth some money, but honestly, it's not a lot. I've been using Zap hosting uh, for two years, and I'm satisfied with it, obviously. Uh, I even have a promo code in the description if you want, if you don't want, you, you just can rent it really without uh, the special deal. But okay, that was the first way, and the second way is uh, it's harder, it's slower, and it's basically for one player only, which is called home hosted local host, but uh, let's dive into that. Um, it's a little harder, but we'll get through it. In order to create your local server, you would have to, of course, download 5M, the link is in the description. The next thing you're gonna want to download is builds, go to builds, the link is in the description as well, it's gonna be in the order I'm showing you in this video. Uh, this is a list of builds by dates, but uh, I always suggest you clicking latest recommended, it will download you the zip. Uh, also you go to the third link, which is cfix server data. So this was just uh, the internal the internal components of your server. This would be the resources. So you download them as well, like so. Uh, let's create a folder called uh, 5M server or something like that. Uh, you open your downloads. And here you just you open your server zip and just control A drag and drop the next thing you do is you open your uh, data master and do the same thing here after it has done its sync inside here you have your resources which is where you will drop and create your mapping or mlos uh, the next thing and the last thing we need here is our server.cfg 
you create a text document called server.cfg. Uh, make sure it's a CFG file here under types. If it's not, it's not gonna work. Uh, it may not work if you're using Windows 7 or lower because it's not even supported by Windows. Uh, the next thing you do, you open your server.cfg with notepad or whatever text editor. You go to Opera, the next link. Uh, I'm gonna, of course, leave it in the description. Then you go lower and you copy all of that, like so copy and just control V which is paste now let's quickly look through these options here so there is stuff like uh, your name your logo uh, if you want the logo for your local server but you don't need that most of the times uh, here is just uh, names of your language of your server uh, it's the same as tags, it's just uh, gonna be displayed in 5M, but you would have to pay for that. And for localhost, you don't really need that, so we're not gonna look at that. Um, what really matters is uh, this one, script hook allowed. You click that, uh, change that to one, or you will not have no clip or menu or your Lambda menu enabled. So there is a Lambda menu, link in the description, it's basically no clip and uh, just a trainer, you know, for your 5M. Uh, and next thing uh, which also important is setting your max clients to 8 or lower because if you stay set it up to higher than 8 you will have to pay for your custom closing and other kind of restrictions to work but if it's 8 or lower you would not have to pay for that and it would work fine uh, so last thing is you can also set up your server's name like uh, test uh, tutorial server like that uh, control s to save and the last thing we're gonna need in this video for your phone on 5m server is maybe the hardest part in a way but it's uh, creating your own key your own custom key for your server let's uh, dive into that in order to do that we're gonna use official key master website for 5m so you click sign in it will ask you to uh, register on CFX, you enter your email and password, uh, you can sign in with Google uh, and after you do that you will end up on a page like this but uh, you will not have any keys, I have few of those as you see but you will have none so you would have to create one, you click new here you dis your display name can be whatever like a tutorial server your initial server IP address is where you literally copy and paste your uh, IP address of your computer. You literally type what's my IP and just copy IPv4 from here. Uh, server type you pick, uh, if you pick uh, something like uh, server provider, you write zap hosting here. Uh, but Zap Hosting does it for you, as I shown in the first way. But here, you just click uh, either dedicated server or uh, home hosted. It's one to three, or you can actually write something here. Just I'm not a robot. Generate. Now you have your custom key. Click here. You will have a copy button there. Once you copy it, you go r r right here and paste it like so. Instead of change me. So let me do that. I'm not gonna. Don't want to show you my key. Uh, also, make sure it's uh, active for you. Don't make it inactive. Uh, and uh, we'll continue after I paste it here. So I've saved my custom key. Control S to save your server.cfg. Now the really last thing you're gonna need to do is create your bat file in order to launch your server. Create a text document. Name it uh, start.bat. Make sure it's a Windows batch file. You open it with Notepad. Here you write uh, cd slash d. Uh, then you go to your cfix server data master. Copy this. Paste it here. Then you go back and paste that here. Then space. Uh, no, actually, like so. fx server dot exe plus execute server dot cfg so like so then you hit control s you close your bat file 
now you uh, search for it right here and this is how you launch your server every time you want to join your server you will click on this bad folder file so let's actually open it now you just open it it says that I'm authenticating your key I'm all good uh, then you open your 5m here you just f8 connect local host and it's done now I'm gonna quickly show you how to stream your custom thing to 5m uh, very quickly because I mean, I mean you would have to see some streaming tutorial right so let's stream some custom interior or something like that to your 5m server the correct way let's say you have your MLO that you downloaded from GTA 5 mods uh, I will leave a link to my GTA 5 mods with my interiors you download all the files and you just go to your 5m server go to CFX server data master resources so then you create a folder called whatever like uh, I will call it test here you create a folder called stream which is a streaming folder then you create here a very crucial file called fx manifest dot lua lua is programming language uh, you open fx manifest dot lua and you paste this this is the most important part but this you have to keep as well I will paste this in the comments or in the description so you don't have to don't have to type this manually and inside your streaming folder and always inside your streaming folder you drop your interiors interior files like ymap ytype ygr ybn and stuff like that and the last thing you do is you go back to your server.cfg and here you type ensure test so yes this is just uh, the arrays of your resources here if we go to resources we see those uh, test uh, um, stuff like that this is where they they are launched so if you don't ensure your resource folder here it will not work so now if we start our bet we will see that it's launched right here started resource test this means it will work in game so this is it for your 5m server I will quickly show you the how to set up your local RageMP server, but don't tune, um, don't go away because I want to show you the difference. RageMP is so much worse, but just see the difference of how much effort it takes to uh, create a 5M server versus how to create a local RageMP server. You go to rage.mp, obviously, then you click download server files. Let's create a folder called uh, RageMP server. Then you save it right there. Your updater.exe. Save. You open it. Click it. Wait like uh, wait like one or two minutes. Let's continue from there. And you will see that it just created all the files by itself. It will open user RageMP. Next thing you do is just open server files, click RageMP server.exe, and you're done. Your server is ready. Uh, next thing you do is just click here, localhost, and that's it. So, one minute versus 30 minutes of 5M. I don't know why it works like that uh, because you don't have a custom key for RageMP probably, and it's let's protect it. But uh, I'm gonna quickly show you how to stream your dlc.rpf to RageMP server, it's uh, very easy as well. You just go to your client packages, here you create a folder called uh, game resources, like so, spelling is uh, important. Here you create a folder called dlc packs, again it's important. And here you can create like whatever, it can be called in Russian, Arabic, English, whatever, or in numbers you call it whatever and here you drag and drop your dlc.rpf so this is the way remember it and this way it's gonna work for sure now um, so yes guys let me know what you think about RageMP versus uh, uh, 5m ser local servers or if you want to create them via uh, zap hosting join my discord channel where I support uh, and help people uh, it has all my English tutorial list and stuff like that check out my shop uh, it will be even bigger later on 
use zap hosting with my code below if you want um, and yeah this is it this is the end of the video the next video is probably i'm gonna ask the community you guys whether it's gonna be a huge mlo tutorial where i cover all the mlo creation stuff or whether it's gonna be weapons or maybe water or uh, prop animations whatever what you guys want uh, but it's probably gonna be in may so yes that's it uh, thank you everyone for watching uh, see you next time take care